1960s, if you switch your television on, you'd get Markham and Wise, Cilla Black, Bob Monkhouse, David Frost. But nowadays, they're all dead. Why is that? How come the BBC started with radio? Because radio is loads less popular than television, isn't it? There are people in radio who'd get very angry about that. Um, it's, I mean, radio still performs uh, tremendously well. There's and still radio. There is still radio. At the time the BBC was set up, there wasn't a choice because there was no TV. Which was your favourite of the romantics? Probably um, Byron, I'd think. Um, Byron was the bad boy of the romantic uh, poets. It's thought that he probably slept with his sister and with most other women in England. He was your favourite? Yeah. The one who slept with his sister? Well, it's, I mean, it's not on that basis that um, I like him. I was just giving you a bit of background on him. Would that have shocked people or was everyone sleeping with their sister back then? I, I think it was... I mean, he spent much of his life in exile and... Um, Where's he, exile? Well, in his case, it was um, in Italy, mainly. And he wrote Don Dewan, which is one of the greatest pieces of particularly rhyming poetry in English literature. It must be a good book if you can overlook the fact he slept with his sister. In the 1997 election, why do you think more people voted for Tony Blair than Oasis? You're making um, a mistake which is quite common at the time, that because the Prime Minister or Labour Party leader at the time was called Tony Blair, Blur. Blair. Blur. Blair. Blur. Blair. 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 Tony Blair was Blair, Blair was Blair. Prime Minister and leader of the Labour Party, and there was one of the biggest um, rock or pop bands of the time was Blur. 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 Yeah. Why did the government start the BBC in the first place? It seems like these days they're always trying to close it down. Was it one of those stupid mistakes they made, like? Brexit. The government didn't strictly start the BBC. Um, the BBC was originally a private company in 1922. It employed um, a, a rather fierce Scottish guy called John Reith. And people still talk about Reithian values and Reithian broadcasting. Reithian values were to inform, educate and entertain. Well, all at the same time? Yeah. So the BBC is supposed to inform, educate or entertain. And entertain. I'm going to list some BBC things and I want you to say whether they inform, educate or entertain. OK. News at 10. Inform. Open University. Educate. Doctor Who. Entertain. Strictly Come Dancing. Entertain. Homes Under the Hammer. Entertain. Inspector Phillips. What is Inspector Phillips? Oh, I made that one up. That was just a trick question. OK, well, I've, it didn't work. Sounds real, though, doesn't it? Inspector Phillips. No, I instantly knew oh. that it wasn't a real one. Eat well for less. It's where Greg Wallace and another man see how much a family spend on a week shopping and then criticise them. Make them eat porridge from Lidl. Inform. Well done. Sorry, I wasn't totting up the scores. Thank you.